Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the secrets of the heart. All praises due to Allah. We praise Him, we seek His aid, and we ask for His forgiveness. And we send the peace and blessings of Allah upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Welcome to this new episode of The Secrets of the Heart, a show in which we will try to uncover the secrets of a wonderful part of the creation. A very important part of our bodies, of our souls, of this life. It is the key to paradise, the heart. Most of humanity have neglected their hearts, have lived mainly for their bodies, and they neglected the heart. Although the heart requires more attention than the body, although the heart is the leader, the commander of the body, so it's unfair for people to pay so much attention to the body while neglecting the leader and what will happen by that the body will always go wrong as long as the heart is neglected so let's focus our attention on our hearts on the commander on the pivotal point on the center of life we focus on that and the body will follow suit so it will be already taken care of today inshallah we have a beautiful aspect, a beautiful secret of the heart to uncover, which basically deals with the well-being of the heart. How can we get a heart in a good state? What does it mean to maintain the well-being of the heart? First of all, we have to know that the heart has two powers, it has two abilities, two major abilities that the heart has has or two forces force number one is the force of comprehension and knowledge and I believe we've proven and we have spoken enough about the reality and the fact that thinking comprehension and understanding decision-making all these intellectual uh, faculties or intellectual capabilities are a function of the heart not the brain the brain takes part in at a certain stage but the reality is that all these are function of the heart. So we have to understand that. So the heart has two main functions, two main forces. The force of comprehension. The faculty of comprehension and understanding. The, the faculty of possessing knowledge. That's number one. Second one, or the second faculty, the second ability is the will and love inclination, being inclined. So one is transitive, that talks about the heart itself, it can possess knowledge. That deals with the heart itself. The second faculty or the second ability is that of, is, tran is transitive. It affects other things. It makes the heart do some action. It, so the first one talks about what the heart can contain, comprehension. The second one, which is transitive, it talks about the impact of the heart on other things. The heart has the ability to decide and to have the willingness to do something and to be inclined to that. To be inclined to these two forces, if they are used justly and rightly, the, you will have a happy right. But if they are used the wrong way, misery and sadness frustration will be the ultimate end and the inevitable outcome. So in order to get a real happiness or in order to, uh, to have and uh, cultivate a happy heart and a healthy heart, we need to use these two forces in what the heart has been created for. If we use it for something else, we will destroy it and we will have a disappointed heart, broken heart, and uh, frustrated heart. So this is why we. This is something that we have to learn. So the heart has two forces. If they are used correctly, you will have a very healthy heart, and you will have a happy life, and you will attain the ultimate success. But if you use them wrongly, then you will have to pay the price. That's something inevitable. And basically, this rule is. Uh, true with all other things. For example, your eye has been created to see. If you use it, you cannot use it for something else. You cannot use your eye, uh, for example, to drink things because your eye do not, has not been created, has not been designed 
to drink. So if you use it to drink, if you use it, for example, for liquids, you will destroy it. If you, if you put food inside your eye, you will destroy your eye. It's very simple, that's very basic. And even it applies to things that human beings manufacture. Let's talk about a car. A small car is not designed, for example, to carry a lot of weight or to carry you know, heavy things. But if you use it to carry that, you will be destroying it, you will be harming it. And the heart will not be helpful, or the, the car will not be helpful. The heart, uh, actually the car will cause you more trouble than the benefit you, that you wanted to get from it. And the same applies to the heart. The heart has been created to know certain things. This is why the heart is always searching. It's always pushing you to look for answers. And if people take, or if people have the courage, develop the courage to listen to the hearts, they will come to know that at times when you have no commitments, when at times when you are not in that numb feeling, when you are not so preoccupied, and that often happens when you lose a dear person, or when, when something that you have been working for is already is, is gone and all of a sudden is destroyed, and you find this emptiness in the heart, and this emptiness in your life, person always starts questioning, what's the point of me being here? What's the meaning of my life? You see? So these are, these are cover-ups, these are layers of or shields that people try to shield themselves with from answering the questions. But they don't realize that these questions are meant to guide you to the straight path. They are meant to guide you to real happiness. So listen to the voice of your heart. When your heart asks these questions, listen to it and try to find the answers. And by this way, many people are embracing Islam.